So, so, uh, so rhyme has the, all, always has some kind of usually tonic function. Rhyme's job is to say, I'm done. So remember that the C chord with the C in the bass did say, I'm done. And so I'd like to compare that to what's called perfect rhyme. Just as when you're playing chords, you try to color your emotion with the chords that you play, so with rhyme, you can ask the question, how am I feeling, stable or unstable? So that, so that if I'm feeling stable, I will want to use tools that communicate stability. Perfect rhyme is one of those tools. Or family rhyme. So that there's a reason for choosing rhyme types. Perfect or family rhyme, you choose in those cases where you want things to feel stable. Prosody, P-R-O-S-O-D-Y, prosody. Appropriate relationship between elements. How am I feeling here? I'm feeling quite stable in, in, uh, uh, in pronouncing my love for you. And I want you to believe me, therefore the rhyme type I use will be stable. But there are occasions where we feel a little differently about that. Where, where I'm not really so sure, perhaps, that, uh, that I really want your love. Or that perhaps I'm saying it, but you don't quite believe me. That is to say, places where there's a little less stability involved. And in that case, I'm going to want to move down the chart a little bit. So additive subtractive rhyme, very, uh, very simple concept, is basically additive and subtractive are the same kinds of rhyme. Uh, so uh, let's, let's say that I'm dealing, for, for example, with one of those words that doesn't have a consonant after the vowel, like cry. Cry. So if I, baby, baby, please don't cry. Uh, uh, sit until your tears have dried. <laughs>